You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, how again will it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Now, if I was a chemist, I would say you are the sodium chloride of the earth. If the sodium chloride has lost its potency, how, in will, how will it be reconstituted? It will have to be thrown out of the lab and students will walk all over it outside. Jesus said, after verse 13, you are the light of the world. A city that is built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but under, on a candlestick, and it gives light unto all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and they will glorify your Father who is in heaven. It's interesting how Jesus used a lot of this symbolism when he said, I, I am the light of the world. And now he says, you are the light of the world. When he would say, follow me, Follow me for three and a half years. Take up your cross. Follow me. He had thousands of disciples. That's why they wanted to kill him. Behold, all of Galilee followeth after him. Follow me. And then one day he said, now go. But you said, come. Yes, now go. There comes a moment where Jesus has been the light of the world. Have you received the light? Now he says, go. And you be the light of the world. You be salty. Salty. 